Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer, Professional Psychic, and in this video we are going to be reviewing the Legendary Ladies Goddess Cards by Anne Sheen. I think that's her name. Hold on, let's get up to the phone so I can see it. Anne Sheen. This deck is beautiful. It is obviously a representation of powerful, strong women that are goddesses around the world, representing lots of different cultures. I think the art is absolutely stunning. Um, there's something about it. It's very down to earth. Uh, it's beautiful, but it's not too busy. I like that, especially as somebody who has a visual impairment. This is right up my alley. Um, I like the box. The box is extremely good quality. It opens like this, like a cute little drawer. So I like that a lot. I feel like there's a lot I like about this and there's one I don't like about this. So I'll go through my little review and we'll we'll take care of it. So let's let's open our drawer. I love the way this opens. Ooh, okay. All right, so these are the cards. They do come with this book. Now, this book is right up my alley, like literally right up my alley. I like how it's so basic and easy. It's not too complicated. I don't have a lot of time to read stuff. And I like that it's like, bam, there's a picture, there's the meaning, there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, I want you guys to know that there is a companion book to this deck that you can get for your Kindle. I actually did get it, so if you wanna do more in-depth stuff, you can, but like, this is all you need. I love it, this is great. So far, really, really good. These are the cards. Look at that artwork, how beautiful, how colorful it is. I like that the cards are kind of more matte. They're not super glossy. For me, as somebody who films videos, like you can just see all the beautiful detail. Here's what I don't like about the cards. They are very, very thin. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like they're super duper thin. And I feel like that is a major drawback because if you're gonna use these cards like once in a blue moon, then it's not a big deal at all, like who cares? But if this is gonna be like your daily cards that you use to do all your readings for, like that's gonna be a big pain in the butt. You're gonna be disappointed and it's not gonna be a good situation. So uh, that, you know, if, if the card quality and the card stock quality is important to you, you might wanna pass on these. If that was better, then I would recommend these 100%. And especially, if you want to give a gift to somebody, if you have a woman in your life who's going through struggles and you want to give them some encouragement or, you know, something like that, this is, this would make such a beautiful gift, but because the card stock is not the best, I really can't, I really can't recommend it highly and I wouldn't recommend it as a gift because these cards are kind of flimsy feeling, even though the art is stunning and they put so much into the detail of this. I wish they just did that one last thing. I would have even been willing to pay more for these cards if they did that. So I don't know, but that's just me. I'm going to show you guys the cards. Unfortunately, I cannot read because I'm visually impaired again. And so, but it gives you the name of the goddess, which I probably couldn't pronounce anyway for most of them. And oh, I think this one's Aditi. Uh, and then it gives you like a little, little phrase. So I think these cards are user friendly. Oh my gosh. I didn't look through all these cards yet, you guys, because I wanted us to do it together as a family. So look at this. Oh my God, I'm getting major Elsa vibes. <laughs> this beautiful little girl, or little woman, I should say. <laughs> these cards are absolutely beautiful. They're breathtaking. I just want to make sure the whole card is in frame for you guys because I would really hate for you to miss out. I'm going to take a guess and say, is this Aphrodite? Yes, she is. I kind of could tell by the clamshell, but look at that voluptuous beauty. Man, these are beautifully stunning cards. I am going to use these a lot, and that makes me sad because... I'm going to have to probably repurchase them because they're going to get used to death. I love these. That is beautiful. Um, I also want to say, guys, 
that you may hear like a car driving by or something. I am near a street, so sometimes the camera picks it up and sometimes it doesn't. So we'll see what happens. Who is this one? Oh, Athena. I love it. Beautiful. I think they did just a good um, representation. I like that so many different cultures were represented, and I think that that's really, really cool. Oh, this one. She looks she looks fiery and fierce. She reminds me of uh, the girl from Brave, Magira. No, that's the girl from Hercules. I keep I keep comparing these girls to Disney princesses, and that's probably so disingenuous. I mean, no disrespect, but that's just the first thing I think when I see them. Uh, but anyway, I can't remember the name of the girl from Merida. Merida, that's her name. <laughs> Beautiful. This one I think is from Thailand, I want to say. Oh my god, absolutely gorgeous. So, as you can see, this one looks like Greek. Is that I can't pronounce that, guys. Sorry. But um yeah, these are absolutely beautiful. I think that they did such a good job with the color schemes being represented as well as the um, the costuming and the hair and everything. I think they did like a great job with all this. I think they really, really did well. Oh, I love these cards so much. Oh, this girl is really, really interesting. Beautiful. Oh my God. I'm going to do it again, guys. This one reminds me of Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> don't, don't be mad at me. Uh, <laughs> So there you go, this girl, oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Ooh, look at this girl, she is so fiery and beautiful, not fiery, but she's like fierce, that's the word I was looking for. She kind of looks, just saying, kind of like an Instagram model, like the brows, the dark lips, the white hair, she looks like an Instagram model. Hecate, I feel like that's from Greek. I know some of these and I don't know all of them. That's beautiful. Aw, this one's so cute. I love her. Aw, Hina. Aw, so beautiful. Messy. Oh, this one's beautiful. <gasps> Look at these beautiful sunset colors. Oh my gosh. Can't read that but absolutely beautiful that's another one with really pretty colors uh, this is just going to be a super fun deck to play with i think that there's just going to be a lot to look for Ooh! wow kali yes i recognized her Oh, Ooh, this one's beautiful too. You know, there's like a vintage vibe about her. I really, really like. She's really great. Wow, there's a lot of cards in this deck. My hands are getting tired, guys. <laughs> Sorry about it. But um, yeah, so this girl is beautiful. Ooh, this one's really nice. It seems like a lot of them are, are from Japan and Egypt and like Polynesia but I guess that's just you know they're they are from wherever they are from Ooh, I love her I love her Na Nanu really really beautiful I just she's so regal looking Ooh, this girl is fierce you don't want to mess with her Morgana, Morgan, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, guys, sorry. Ooh, this one's really, really pretty. I'm living, I'm living for these cards. They're so beautiful. You know, I don't like the fact that they're thin and they feel kind of flimsy, but damn, these are such good cards. 
I would highly suggest getting these as a present for any woman in your life. This would be like a really fun, offbeat gift to give to mom for Mother's Day. I'm just saying. If you have that kind of a mom. Um, really, really cool. Really fun. Ooh, I like this one with the sunflowers. Really interesting. I love stuff that has to do with like goddesses. I think that anything to do with goddesses, fairy tales, folklore, I'm all about that. I used to have a, a deck of cards that I loved that was based off Greek, Greek mythology. And I don't know where those cards went. Ooh, I like her. But I love the art. I love their little faces. Like their faces are so beautiful and the art is so simple. I, I really, not simple, but like it's not too, too detailed. There's a very cartoonish way about them and I really like it. I'm, this is so an aesthetic that I really give into and I like. Beautiful. Oh, this one is giving me some Cinderella vibes. <laughs> I don't know why, because she doesn't really look like Cinderella, but I guess it's the colors. Oh, this one's really beautiful. Ooh, I love this one. Well, that one's really, really cool, too. They're just so beautiful and fierce and amazing. They inspire me. I want to go do my makeup. <laughs> I want to go do my makeup and put on a wig and be like these fierce, amazing women. Oh, I love this one a lot. This one is beautiful. Who is this? Oh, Tara. Oh, this is Tara. I don't know why I didn't recognize her. I like her a lot. She's absolutely beautiful. Ooh, this one. I love. See, every time I think I have a favorite, then I get like a new one that I love. Tai Chi, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Please forgive me if I butcher these names, guys. This one is beautiful, too. Oh, I love this one. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a quick review of this deck. I absolutely love them. I think that they're beautiful and stunning. I do wish the quality was a bit better, but the artwork, the colors are beautiful. These are amazing and stunning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Take care, guys.